this video, we're going to look at using Airtable's Page Designer app to auto-generate our invoices for us. So let's click over into Apps here in the top right corner. And we're going to add an app. And we can search for Apps by Airtable. And then the Page Designer is just right here on the right. So we'll add. Great, so our settings here by default, it's recognized that we're connecting to our invoices table, which we will keep as our default setting here. Our letter size is eight and a half by 11, which is totally fine. So regular kind of standard North American paper sheet. And we're gonna be in that portrait mode. So we can see that it's automatically pulled in our invoice ID field. We're actually just gonna delete this and we're just gonna start from scratch. So we can see on our page designer here, we have a grid view and this is effectively our full page, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheet that we're going to kind of auto generate for each of our invoices. So this is going to be effectively our template. And then as we add new invoices, new clients, new projects, your invoice will automatically be generated for you, which is pretty cool. So we're going to click text under static elements here. And that's going to give us a text box. And in the content, this is where we want to reference our invoice number. Uh, so we're going to enter into the content box invoice number. And then we're going to pull in the field. So our field name is invoice. number. So you can see there it dynamically updated to be number one here. So that looks good. We're just going to change the font size here, make it a little bit bigger and a bit more weight. And we'll just drag this out. So we have everything there. So we have our invoice number and we'll pop this into the top corner. Great, so let's add the client logo below that. So we can actually just get fields from our table here. So if we click the logo field, then we have our client logo. We can just drag it on over and kind of snap it to that grid. Perfect. And next we'll add a bit of our info for our dates. So to the right, we're going to add our date fields. And we're going to add just text. So this is going to be our invoice date, the colon. And we will add another text field for our invoice due date. Great, and now we can actually just add those dates just by clicking into that field there. So we have our invoice date right here. And again, we can just click to select fields from our table in our invoice due date. Perfect, so we have all of those dates available to us now on our invoice. And we're just going to make this a little bit more bold so it can stand out. Perfect, so we have our invoice number, our client logo, our due dates, and now let's add some client information. So we're going to click the client field here and that's added in our client and the client name, what we'll want to do is just scroll down here to our table columns. And we are going to add, instead of the client name, we're going to add in our bill to. And bill from. 
and we'll remove just the client there and we can expand this table and we'll just line it up. Great. So I'll just keep that element highlighted and we'll actually just duplicate it. And this time we're going to add our billing contact info and get rid of the bill from and bill to. So we'll go with billing contact and our uh, billing email and get rid of the bill to and the bill from. And now we can have our billing contact info right there as well. Great, and we're going to do this one more time. So I'll duplicate it one more time just for our payment information. And again, we'll get rid of the contact and the email. And so we have our payment info and we can just slide this down to the kind of bottom left corner of our sheet here. Perfect. Great, so we have all of our client info there. We have our payment info in there as well. So let's now place our last table, which is going to be all of the tasks and the invoice amount as well. So we're going to go with tasks. And we'll drag it over. And now in our table columns, we're going to add in our, we have our task already there. Let's add in our billable hours, our hourly rate, and our invoice amount. And we can just drag this out. I'll just make it full width. Awesome. So we have now our client info, our tasks are all laid out there for our client, and we just want to now have our total amount as well. So we'll do, we'll click out and add a static element for text. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And this is going to be our total amount due. And that's just going to pull in from our invoice total field. Oops. So we can see there it's now $4,650, which has added up all those invoice amounts. And we'll just make this a little bit bigger, a little bit more bold, and we'll have it all fit on one line. So now we can see our invoice has our auto-generated, auto-incremented invoice number, our invoice date and due date, our bill to and bill from, from our client's table, the client billing contact, as well as all the tasks, the billable hours, the hourly rate, invoice amount, and that total amount due. So that looks great. Great. And if we click our play button here or present, we can see what our invoice will look like. And what we can see now is we have a second client. We have a client that we created, our Fit With Friends client. And if we click in to see that second client, we can see that that invoice is auto-generated for them too, for Jane Quick. We didn't have a logo for them, so that's not showing up here. And we only had uh, that market research task completed. So let's escape out of here. And we're gonna go to done editing for Fit With Friends. So if we go to tasks, now instead, let's add another task. So let's do our 
initial proposal. So if we do an initial proposal, or fit with friends specifically, and this is our no code app. Make sure I didn't miss anything on the front end there. So we have our initial proposal, our no code app, our time estimate is maybe just another day. Maybe this took a little bit less time, four hours. We have our hourly rate and our invoice amount is here. And we're gonna add this to this same invoice number two. We wanna add that to it and look here. Now we've, we can see that that initial proposal has been added right to our invoice four hours at $150 per hour, and that's increased our total amount. So you can see that it updates live. Every invoice is essentially a template, and as you update your tasks, your clients, your design projects, that invoice will be automatically updated as well if you select that same invoice. Now we could also create a new invoice for that client and just add it as invoice number three, and again, that template will still be there, and that task will just be added to that next invoice. So if we go to our present view, we can see now that we have our fit with friends invoice. We have that initial proposal added. And if we head back to our first invoice for our engineering U, nothing has changed there and that is good to go as well. And so from here, if we wanted to, for instance, save or print our invoices, we could just click the print icon and we'll just click print. And here's where you can save your invoice as a PDF to either send to your client or to keep for your own records. So instead of going to a destination, we can click the save PDF button here, and then we'll be able to save it as a PDF locally and be able to send it or keep it for ourselves. So that's how we can save our invoice just by clicking that print icon, saving as a PDF for your records and to send along to your client. And if you really want to supercharge this, you could use one of the automations, Airtable automations, uh, such as the Gmail automation to send the invoice to your client once it's ready, once it's triggered by maybe adding another button to the tasks or the invoices table, so that once that task is added or that invoice is completed, the invoice can automatically be sent over to your client but we'll save that for another time. Congratulations on supercharging your invoicing with Airtable. We can't wait to see what you build next. Mm -hmm.